Good morning, guys. It is Monday, um, April the 12th. I hope you guys had a very nice and relaxing spring break with your family. We have about a month left together um, before exams. So let's, let's buckle in and let's finish this semester off strong. So let's get a little bit of review. So last week we started talking about sole proprietorships. Or not last week, but the week before, sorry. <laughs> so we've had this quite, we've had these next two or three questions already, but I just wanted to give you guys a little refresher. So what does ease of formation mean for a sole proprietor? Ease of formation just means that you can start your business very easily by yourself. Just start selling stuff. Or like if you want to be a hairdresser, start doing your friends and family's hair. That's it. And then let your business grow. So ease of formation just means that a, a sole proprietorship is very easy to form. It's easy to start. Um, two other advantages of a sole proprietorship. Remember, if you're running your business by yourself, you know, you keep all the profit, which is wonderful. Um, and then also you make all the decisions. So the responsibilities, they fall on your shoulders. Um, that will be a disadvantage, but you do get to make all your decisions. So you don't have to, you know, talk to anybody about any decisions that you want to make. You can make all the decisions yourself. And then unlimited liability, that just means that all the responsibility falls on your shoulders since you are the only owner of your company. All right, so today we're going to actually talk about partnerships. All right, so a partnership. That's a company that's formed by two or more people. It could be three, it could be four. Um, think about maybe a dentist office. You may have multiple dentists in the same location. They're all partners. An attorney's firm, a law firm. That's a partnership. Um, so it's where two or three or four, possibly five people get together and they form a business together. Um, the partners will manage the business by just agreeing who's going to do what. Who's going to be responsible for doing what. And then you form these um, a little differently depending on what, what state you want to open your partnership in. All right, your advantage of a partnership, you have more capital and credit available. Capital would be how much cash you have in the bank um, and then maybe uh, what tools and equipment you already have that you can bring to the business. And then credit would be that um, both partners can actually borrow more money from the bank then one person can by themselves. So if I'm going into business by myself, if I go to the bank, they may let me borrow $20,000. But if I go into business with a partner, then I could borrow 20, my partner could borrow 20,000, and then we could put that money together and have 40,000 instead of just 20 by myself. You also share the workload, which is really nice. So all that responsibility is not um, on you. You have somebody that can, you know, you can share ideas with, bounce ideas off, off of each other. Um, you won't have to do everything for your company, which would be nice. Also, just like a sole proprietorship, you can offer virtual services like a website, um, PayPal, Cash App. Those increase the speed and efficiency of you making money. And then your last advantage would be that you share your losses. So what I mean by this is that Every month, um, your company may not make a profit. So what that means is, when you're at a loss each month, instead of you being at a loss for $5,000 by yourself, you split that loss. So one partner will have a $2,500 loss, and then the other partner will have a $2,500 loss. So your losses are split, which is nice. And then your disadvantages. You do share, the, <laughs> you do split the losses, but you also have to split the money that you're making. So you have to split your profits too. And then you have to agree on decisions. So if you want your logo to look a certain way, you and your partner are going to have to agree. If you feel like that you need to hire a secretary, you and your partner are going to have to agree on what kind of person you want to hire. And then your last disadvantage for partnership is that all of the responsibility, it falls on the shoulders of both of your partners. So partners do have that 
unlimited liability, which is all the responsibility. And that's just like a sole proprietorship. The only difference is, is this, you're sharing that workload, but still all that responsibility does fall on your shoulders. And then this is your last slide. So um, with partnerships, of course, they're formed by contract. Contracts are always legally binding. Anytime you have a legally binding contract, um, you could, you know, suffer the chance of um, being involved with a lawsuit if, you know, one of the partners does breach the contract. Um, your partnership can be terminated if you guys decide that you want to get out of the company. If one partner wants to buy out the other one, if you unfortunately have to file bankruptcy, if one of your partners dies, or maybe if one of the partners is suing one for maybe, um, maybe embezzlement, maybe one partner is stealing money from the company and you take your partner to court. Uh, sources of your, your money, how you can get started, of course, would be your personal money, your personal tools, your personal car, your personal laptop. You can borrow money from the bank so you can get a loan. Um, and then a couple of examples of partnerships are Hunter Hill Cafe. That's run by a husband and a wife. They are partners. Um, and then Fridge and Tire and Auto. Both of these are in Rocky Mount. Um, Fridge and Tire and Auto is that actually up there by Harris Teeter um, beside Hardee's across the street from Little Caesars. That's owned and operated by two brothers. And those are examples of partnerships. Um, you are continuing with your Wix website. We're going to work on that in class. That way I can answer any questions that you have. Remember that's due this Friday, April the 16th. I hope you guys worked on that a little bit over spring break, but if not, just know that you'll need to buckle down this week to get that finished because that is a, a major project. Also be sure to go into Canvas, do your exit ticket for today, April the 12th, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.